So I thought I'd give everybody an update on the machine and some things I've done to it lately. Been kind of quiet and I thought I'd do a little update. Uh, put these little handles on here. Probably be better up here next to the roof. Uh, next to the roof, I just have to pull the roof loose to put them on. But I uh, thought that was cool. Um, the other thing I did, I scraped up my paint a little bit, but uh, I had to move these uh, shock reservoirs inboard. And then I got this from Tusk. It mounts the spare tire. It also hooks up there in the middle. And I got a spare tire because it's, I just done too many rides where I'm out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> no spare tire. You know, I do have a tire puncture kit and stuff with plugs and little things to air it up. But uh, I just realized, you know, you cut a sidewall or something and you're stuck. So I did that, very happy about that. Um, you know, it sits maybe a little higher than I'd like. Wish I could get the center of gravity down, um, but it's okay. Um, then I got this scissor jack, because you know, you gotta have a way to jack up your car. I don't know, probably still need some blocks or something to get it off the ground, but. And it has a little mount there. Um, We'll see how that works. I haven't tried any of this out yet. So then the next thing is I got rugged radios. <laughs> I had the whole kit. Um, it's got the intercom. Uh, seems to work pretty good. Like I said, I haven't even tried it yet. I got the headphones. Uh, I got the over the top kind versus the behind the head kind. And I'm very happy with them. They seem really nice. I also did this bag up here and I did a bag here. And that is so I could put all my tools. Because uh, carrying a bag, I've had it fly off the back, I've lost tools, and these fit real nice. And I was able to get all the tools for changing the belt and working on every piece of the car in those two bags. So this bag up here, they're both K&M bags. And uh, so far I like them, but I haven't, <clears throat> I haven't got to take them out and and really try them yet, but uh, I like them. Uh, I got a new backup belt here. It's supposed to be a world's best belt. This one says badass, I don't know if there's a difference. I thought there was a difference. Uh, anyway, uh, that's what I'm running right now is a badass belt and I haven't had any problems with it. Probably have about, I think I've broken the OEM belt Probably put 50, 60 miles on that OEM belt and then uh, changed to a badass belt. And I have almost a thousand miles on the car now and no issues. Uh, I've got this as well. This will hold your phone and it also has a little storage. Um, seems to work okay. I had to reposition the, the fire extinguisher. I put her down there. Um, it's okay. It's kind of a, I still, you need another clamp that was zip tight on there right now. Uh, what else am I doing? I think that's it really for the car. And then another big thing is getting ready for doing season. Bam. I got some new sand tires and wheels. Uh, I didn't go, I went pretty inexpensive on this because as you can see, I've spent a lot of money on my machine lately and I just need some sand tires for the dunes. So I, I've, Fell in love with Duning last year, only did it twice. And uh, we used the Liberties out there, aired down to about six pounds. And we were able to go everywhere, but I just think this is gonna make all the difference in the world. Um, they're 32 inch Tusk sand lights. We got the Tusk wheels to match. They're bead locks. I'm sure there's much lighter and much better, um, but for the price and stuff, this beats the heck out of using the Liberties in the sand. And uh, I think you really can't beat them for the price. But that being said, I haven't tried them out yet. They're, they're 32 inch, we're gonna give them a go. I have a feeling they'll be a whole lot better than the Liberties. We shall see. I know a lot of people say you need more paddle or whatever. Could be, but for now, you know, uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, and it's a good place to start. I got. I think this to my door was with tax and everything. I don't remember what the invoice was. I wonder if I have it around here somewhere, but it was like $1,100 to my door or something like that. 
for four, four wheels and tires. Um, they're not the lightest thing. You know, they put some technology in them, but um, I think they're gonna look pretty good and hopefully work pretty good. They call them lights. I'm sure they're lighter than a lot of tires, but um, probably a lot lighter than the Liberties. But uh, I'm sure there's, you know, the uh, scats and stuff are probably better way to go all the way around, but um, I, don't, I just didn't have the money for it right now. Anyway, pretty stoked about that. I'll get, give you a report on those when we go to the dunes. It's going to be a few weeks, but dunes season is here. So just trying to get the machine more prepared for everything. Um, and I'm pretty happy so far. We're going to get it out and test her out. Anyway, that's the update. Um, and pretty excited. Talk to you later.